Hello, so today I will be doing ACT therapy. Um, my client is Sunshine. She's a 21 year old um, college student who um, lives with depression and anxiety. And um, because she's in college right now, uh, midterms are coming up, it seems to be the presenting problem at the time. Um, by now, this is our fifth session. So we've talked about commitment to therapy. We've done a values assessment. We've done creative hopelessness. And then we did control as a problem. Um, and then this session is willingness and acceptance. Um, I will start out like I do every time we do a mindfulness. We review um, her tracking with that. We review the homework from the week before. And then I introduce the topic, which I will do with a metaphor. And then we will move into uh, challenging her to um, do a willingness and acceptance action plan. Um, I would evaluate the effectiveness of my treatment, my ACT treatment sessions with her um, based off the patient health questionnaire um, at the beginning before we started therapy and then um, doing it again um, at the end. Um, or at a three months, if it was extended, like at a three month time, to just to see if what we're doing is effective for her. Um, I would also check in with her each week and just, you know, see if things were working out and um, get feedback from her if necessary. Um, I hope you enjoy this. Um, here you go. Hello, Sunshine. Hello. Thanks for coming. How are you doing? Mm -hmm could be doing better. It's been a busy kind of couple of weeks. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're here. Shall we start with our mindfulness and then we can? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So just get comfortable and just close your eyes for a moment. Welcome. Hello. So um, just to, you know, get started, we'll just go over. So it sounds like you've had some, a stressful kind of couple weeks. And so we'll, we'll make sure to touch base on that. Um, how did your mindfulness go, uh, this week when you're tracking that? It went well. Okay. Well, you know, make it what you need to make it. It's just, it's just, uh, the more we practice, the better, the better we're able to be present and it can help us in other situations in our life. So, yeah. Yeah, so I just encourage you to keep that up. It looked like you were pretty consistent. So I appreciate that. And then um, this last week, the week before we had talked about control. And so we had uh, discussed some homework and we were going to um, relate your problem. Of, it seems like the anxiety with your midterm coming up seems to be a big deal. Okay. And then, you know, what did you do to control that anxiety? What, what was, I took a nap. I avoided it completely. Okay. And then, uh, as part of the homework, you know, the question is, did that work for you? No, what? no one when I woke up, I had more anxiety. Cause I was like, I just wasted two hours of napping. Um, and I could be, you know, flipping through the cards that they gave, the flashcards that they gave us, or actually studying the study guide, or at least opening the book. Mm. So it sounds like it just created more stress. It really did. Okay. So um, I'm a bit curious. Um, you know, we talked about uh, control mm -hmm. and then um, and how last week, how when we're trying to control things and we kind of did that experiment this week, right? Where you yeah. try to control things, it made things worse. It made it so you felt paralyzed. Yeah. And so this week, um, I want to focus on willingness and acceptance. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so uh, meaning willing to accept the fact that you're going to have anxiety regarding this midterm coming up. Yeah. That almost no matter what you do, take a nap. What's something else that you do to distract yourself? Scroll through Instagram, um, watch 
TV, just really anything, play with my dogs, just trying to not do what I need to do. So avoidance. Yeah. I want you to think about this. Have you seen a movie where there's been quicksand? Like someone's yeah. in quicksand. Yeah. What happens usually when they're in quicksand? Um, the more you struggle, the faster you go down. Yeah. So usually the people are in there, they're freaking out. Mm -hmm. Natural response. I've never been in quicksand, but I could imagine that I would want, I would think that swimming, trying to climb out of it would yeah. be an appropriate response. But instead, um, do you know what you're supposed to do in quicksand? No, because I've never actually encountered it in my life. Neither have I, but this is what I've been told. That you're supposed to relax. You literally don't move. You put your arms out and you kind of let your body float to the surface. Hmm. Kind of opposite. Yeah. Of what you think, right? Yeah. It's still uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Probably still very scary. Yeah. But the person is kind of like, hey, I'm in here. I'm just going to be. Yeah. And that actually saves, saves them in that instance. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I'm wondering if you're willing to try to get dirty with your anxiety. And kind of sit in it instead of like run away from it and avoid it all come all together yeah what do you, what when i ask you if you're willing to do that what thoughts come to your mind <laughs> anxiety of like oh goodness <laughs> i don't like facing things okay um any other thoughts because that's a, that's kind of what you're that's kind of what you deal with right anxiety so more anxiety as me asking you to accept it increases anxiety. Any other thoughts? Just kind of like, oh, this could be a good idea instead of like running away from my anxiety, facing it head on and being like, yeah, no, you don't get to control my life. Do you feel like it controls your life right now? I do. I really do. In what ways? Um, I'm not able to function when it comes to like school because I'm like avoiding schoolwork. I don't focus on the things that I need to, like um, doing the dishes when they need to be done, uh, because that can sometimes bring me anxiety, even just the smallest of things. I'm like, you know what, Instagram or something else to just kind of block that anxiety out and think of something else. And so, but you're willing to try this experiment and yes. you're willing to um, kind of like hit it head on. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. And earlier in our sessions, we talked about values and I know education is super important to you yes. that you want to get your degree. Sounds like this is, this is important. Mm -hmm. So your goal would be to what? To pass the class. To pass the class. And so, um, we want to pass the class. Mm -hmm. and underlying value would be of course your education. Right. And so what thoughts come to mind, um, when you think about this class and the anxiety, what thoughts? I'm not going to be able to pass it. Um, I'm not going to be able to get through this. Um, I'm not smart enough for this. There's no use in even trying because it's too hard. Hmm. So your mind's telling you those things. Yeah. And then your natural reaction is to just try to avoid those thoughts. Yes. Okay. I'm going to ask you this week that when those thoughts come up to just let them be. Okay. And do what you need to do. So what would you need to do if those thoughts came in a hey, sunshine, you're not smart enough to pass this test. What would you do? Instead of avoiding it, um, I would take time to even just the smallest of thing to kind of help me pass the test of just opening the book. I like that. So you're going to start with the small things. You're going to review mm -hmm. instead of avoid. What are the feelings 
that you're feeling? Tightness in my chest, um, a little bit of sweating because I'm like, oh my goodness, like this is too hard. Um, a lot of upset stomach. Do those, are those feelings with you all the time? When you're um, more so when I'm worried about school. Okay. So would you be willing to maybe sit with those feelings? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And would you think that would be difficult? Definitely difficult. You know, that worksheet I gave you, what would be some of those urges that you would, that you would have? So we have the thoughts, we have the feelings, but then what are the urges? Um, definitely to feel uncomfortable, feeling kind of nauseous. Um, so th those would be, those would be- Wanting to run away from. Ah. Wanting to run away from that nausea. Okay. Or like taking a nap. Yeah. Like you did before. Okay. And so, um, would you be willing to sit with those urges? Yeah, I feel like sitting with them and kind of sitting there and being like, okay, your automatic reaction does not need to be to run away. Maybe we can sit with these thoughts or uh, feelings and urges to kind of figure out what's behind them and why I'm so anxious. What can you do to remind yourself um, you know, because it's going to be hard. It's going to be hard to be uncomfortable, to have these thoughts, have these, you know, the, the stomach and um, being hot and sweaty. Yeah. And the urge to go away. What can you do to remind yourself of that goal that you have? Um, write it on a post-it note, kind of sit there and like have a tangible reminder of like, a written reminder or kind of like a positive affirmation in my head of like, if I do get through this, I'll be able to pass my test. If I face my emotions instead of running away, I might get a better grade. Kind of thinking that through. You're a positive thinker. Yeah. So I think that could do, I think that could do you well this week if you could, if you could do them write those things down. And so you've already kind of gone to the next step, right? Of breaking it down, right? So, so you recognize that you're going to have these, these feelings and urges and things, but then taking the next step of, of reminding yourself, putting that physical, tangible reminder, right? And so can you think of any other barriers that might come up with, with this? Maybe the distractions around me, um, the fact that, you know, I have puppies walking around the house or um, having things to do can probably be a big distraction and make me want to avoid things. Mm. So what I'm hearing is that sometimes just the things around you, you can use maybe as an excuse, right? You're like, oh man, I've got to do this homework. I don't want to do it. And, but then there's something else that needs to be done, right? Yeah. Oh, my dog needs to go for a walk or whatever. Yeah. So those can be barriers. So there are there maybe some uh, plans you can make around that? Um, using one of the spare bedrooms to study and move my um, like school computer into a different room instead of being around where the dogs are. So we have our action plan. And so you have the you have the form. I emailed it to you, and mm -hmm. we walked through it right now. And so I really want to encourage you to um, fill that out. Like we've done it now, but then to take time and fill that out, and then maybe have that as one of your tangible reminders, right? Mm -hmm. um, and so that's. Would you be comfortable using that as your homework this week? Yeah, I'm willing to do that. Okay, and then report back. And then if that, you know, and if there's other things, maybe you can just experiment. If there's other things that, you know, it's just not maybe the test, but maybe there's other things that you could uh, yeah. apply it to. Yeah. So did you have any questions? No, that, that really kind of helps me, especially with the test coming up on Wednesday.